Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of items that we have in our collection. Um, this Bible, which was owned by Robert Stevenson, and this Bible, which was owned by John McSween. We have a whole shelf full of Bibles in the museum in our archive, um, which is quite fascinating really, to look back on the history of the service and see that religion was really very important um, in the early days. And the Lighthouse Service actually provided Bibles and books, religious books and prayer books for use in, in service at all, at all stations. Um, they also sent out a missionary during the 19th century, a Mr. George Easton, between 1852 and 1893. And it was his job to provide spiritual guidance to the children of lightkeepers particularly. Um, this one is Robert Stevenson's Bible, and he was born in 1772, and the Bible was uh, published in 1793. And it begs the question, uh, was this a gift to Robert on his 21st birthday? I think that is a possibility, but we have no guarantee of it. Um, the Bible has been rebound at a much later date. <coughs> and in the rebinding, Robert has included a memorandum. And in the memorandum, he describes the ceremony that has to be used um, during the uh, Sunday services. The Bible also contains a number of annotations written by Robert, as well as some passages that are marked by a cross, um, highlighting the ones that he wanted to use. Um, <clears throat> the Bible probably went with Robert on his tours of inspection round the lighthouses, and I think that's borne out by the the wear and tear on the on the cover. Um, Robert had quite a religious upbringing um, provided by his religious mother. Bella Bathurst notes that Robert loved ceremony and considered it to be the most efficient method of ensuring a loyal and obedient workforce, something which I think would have been of great importance to Robert and indeed to the service. And it's born, this idea of um, being obedient and loyal is borne out by one of the choices of a passage that Robert has marked in the Bible, and it's Joshua 13, verse 1. And that uh, verse is Joshua's exhortation to obedience, again, emphasizing uh, the importance of obedience on a light station, um, a lighthouse station. And indeed, I think that was something that was promoted quite heavily in the Lighthouse Service. Um, the other Bible that I want to talk about is this tiny little one. This wasn't a, a standard issue Bible, and it probably shows that its owner, John McSween, was a, a religious man. And um, he's written Ardemarkin Lighthouse on 25th of September, 1897. It's absolutely tiny, and it's, um, it contains the New Testament. It's so small that I actually can't read it, but then I'm quite old. Um, it, was, it was common during this late 19th century to find uh, very tiny books, um, reproductions of Robert Burns, reproductions of the Holy Bible or religious texts. But this one's quite unusual. I don't think that many more of them exist. We have had a quick look at some other museum collections and we haven't really found any. I hope this has been um, something of interest and um, you can come and look at some of the annotations in Robert's book if you wish. And we hope you've enjoyed this. <laughs>